Today I'm going to teach you how to make low carb flax crackers. The ingredients you'll need for this recipe are one cup of flax meal or ground flax seeds, one tablespoon of coconut flour, two tablespoons of water, herbs, salt, and pepper, one fourth cup of Parmesan cheese, grated or shredded, and two eggs. These crackers are low carb and super high in fiber. People that are on low carb diets usually don't get to eat things like crackers and bread, so they are crack -a Fortunately, I have come up with an awesome recipe that tastes good and fulfills your need for crackers. This is a great recipe to use if you have company coming over or if you just want something crispy. It can also double as a really good pizza crust if you make it a little bit thicker and bake it a little bit longer. Flax seeds are really high in fiber, so they're a great thing to add to your diet if you're a low carber, especially keto people. It can be hard to get fiber in your diet if you're not eating a ton of carbs. And those are just the flax. Let's get started. I'm using my food processor today just because it's a little easier to get everything really well incorporated, but you can mix these by hand too. They'll come out just as good. So I'm gonna start with my wet ingredients. Two tablespoons of water and two Two eggs, these are pasture-raised eggs. Okay, so put those in and just give them a quick stir. Okay, once your yolks are broken up, you're good to go. And then you just add all of your dry ingredients. So we have a cup of milled or ground flax seeds. If you don't buy your flax seeds already ground, that's okay, you can either put them in your blender or put them in your food processor and grind them before. They won't be as fine, but it'll still work. A tablespoon of coconut flour, one fourth cup of Parmesan cheese, and then you wanna add an herb mixture. I'm gonna use like an Italian blend. It has rosemary, basil, parsley and oregano, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. I would say about a quarter teaspoon of each. But you kind of just make it to your taste. If you're making this into a pizza crust, you might want to up the amount of herbs that you're putting in, but because these are crackers, I don't want them to be too overpowering. These are also really good with some garlic running through them, but I tend to share them with my dogs, and dogs can't have garlic. Put your lid on your food processor, or pull out your spoon and get mixing. We're just gonna mix this until it comes together and forms a dough. Alrighty, there you have it. That's what it should look like. I'm using a knockoff silk hat. Um, this is just a Nordic wear silicone baking sheet on just a regular cookie sheet. For this step, you can either use your hands or pull out your spatula. For your sake, I'll use a spatula. I'm making crackers, so I'm gonna spread this really thin. If you're making it a pizza crust, you can form it round or you can form it square, however you prefer. Just make it a little bit thicker, I'd say about a quarter inch. Right now, we are preheating our oven to 350 degrees. Okay, so once you have all your dough on your pan, you just wanna go ahead and spread it out with your spatula. If you're using your hands, it's good to get them wet and press the dough out, you can get it thinner. So once you have your crackers pretty evenly spread out, they should look like this. I'm just gonna go ahead and toss these in my 350 degree oven for about 15 to 20 minutes and then give them a check. All right, so I just pulled these out of the oven and they look awesome. Beautiful, you can see some spots get a little bit more brown than others just because it's almost impossible to roll these out completely evenly. I like to cut them with a pizza cutter, it just makes them a little bit more easy. If you want them to get extra crispy, just leave them in the oven and turn it off after the 15 to 20 minutes once they start to get golden brown. Just let them sit there and keep an eye on them and they will dry out and get super, super crispy. They're so good that way. Alrighty guys, so this is our finished product. It looks just like a cracker. I have some cheese here. There you go. Next time company comes over, you don't have to just serve cheese. Now you can serve a cheese and cracker plate. Now you can join your house guests for some delicious hors d'oeuvres. Serve these guys up with some raw milk cheddar. Delicious. Everyone will love it. And no one will even know it's low carb. Let me know if you guys make this recipe and how it turns out for you. Also make sure if you do make the recipe to send me a picture on Instagram or Twitter because I'd love to see how yours came out. And have a great day guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.